842, welcome back. Every vote counts, no matter if you've been in the U.S. for decades or just a couple of years. One Jacksonville organization is making sure refugees and legal immigrants understand that process. Joining me now is former refugee and member of the Florida Immigrant Coalition, Basma Alawi. Basma, thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you so much for having me. You know, we only have 16 days until Election Day. What is your final push in these days ahead? Well, first, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's been interesting working during the election with COVID, uh, but it's every day is election day until uh, November 3rd. So we want to remind people that people can vote every day until uh, November 3rd through their mail or through uh, early voting, which is start Monday. So I want to make sure that people understand that Election day is not just November 3rd, it's every day until November 3rd. We have been actually since March uh, educating uh, the community about voting, uh, also doing phone banking every Wednesday, 5 to 7, to engage the community um, and engage many other organizations like the uh, faith organization, like the Unitarian Universal Church of Jacksonville, uh, business, uh, local businesses like Andrea uh, uh, Reyes uh, Ray uh, Legal, um, a University of North Florida students and uh, professors who have been volunteering also to do phone banking and text banking. And we will continue to do all of this work until November 3rd. How many refugees and immigrants called Jacksonville home? Um, actually, that number have never been uh, assumed, but I can tell you that uh, just in Duval County, we have over 51,000 uh, new voters, uh, 50, over 51,000 People needed to be educated well and make sure that they can cast their ballot in uh, before November 3rd or on the day off. So uh, numbers of refugees and immigrants have been uh, increased uh, in, in Florida. Jacksonville have been a welcoming uh, community to the refugees and immigrants community, and, and hopefully it will continue to do that. And with that said, Florida Immigrant Coalition is really emphasizing the importance of new voters among Americans. Exactly. Actually, um, we try to uphold, uh, or we do, we uphold and strengthen our nation commitment to welcome and protect those seeking freedom, safety, and refuge in the United States. And through our work in the election, we want to make sure every vote counts. As a former refugee from Iraq who lived in dictatorship and war, I have never voted in, the, in Iraq. And this is, will be my first presidential election, and I will make sure my vote counts and all my community votes count. I know you were saying every day until the election is election day. You're busy <laughs> mobilizing new voters. But what activities are you holding that you want people to know about where they can go and get more information about voting? Yes, so I encourage people to visit flick.vote. Again, flick.vote, F-L-I-C dot vote. Uh, people could sign up to be a volunteer. They can help us with phone banking. We also try to uh, train our community members and allies to make sure that uh, they can guide people to the poll. Can, they can be close to the polls to make sure our community. Uh, so all of these um, activities we are doing, if people speak different languages, we also can, they, they can also uh, help us with phone banking. But we have UNF students who really, the only language they speak are, are English, and they have been doing amazing uh, work educating our communities about voting. And I know you said this at the beginning of this conversation, and that is this work is very interesting to begin with, but it's that much more interesting during a pandemic. So a lot of these events that you're ha been having and a lot of these outreach opportunities that are available to people, they are virtual. Exactly. Most of our, most of our event, if not all, are all virtual. We are still uh, going to be with social distance, uh, being outside the polls, making sure our communities are guided to, to the polls and uh, understand where is their um, early voting locations. But a majority of our events have been being virtual. We have been uh, having WhatsApp parties uh, during debate. We have been uh, having phone banking every Wednesday, 5 to 7, uh, virtually on Zoom. And we will have more events coming up in um, until the day of the election. So if people want to really join and support, again, uh, visit the flick.vote. Um, and if they want to uh, uh, support our work in Jacksonville, visit We Are All America uh, slash Florida. Uh, so they can uh, join and volunteer with us and help us in this work. And Bosma, before I let you go, 
having collaborated with you on stories in the past, what is the one message you have to people who really don't understand or want to know more about the definition, the word refugee or immigrant? What's your final push for that? So first of all, I do believe um, all human beings are legal. Um, as a refugee, I was forced to leave home and because, and, and the word refugee can be a really big definition. But for me, who I experienced that because of many countries foreign policy, Iraq was one of the countries that got affected. And because of that, many people were displaced and seek refuge outside of Iraq. So for me, I, I, my value going to be at the polls. I'm going to vote for my value. I'm going to vote for my community here, and I'm going to vote for leaders who really uh, understand and believe in anti-war and for family uh, unification. So we want to make sure people vote for their value and understand that voting are privilege. Um, I think we just uh, released a story uh, last uh, two weeks with AP Media, and the story was about Haptam, who are a Eritrean, uh, former refugee who lived now in Jacksonville and voting soon in the election. He mentioned that he never been voted before uh, in, in his country because there was no election for many years. So for me, I, even though I lived in Iraq, I always watched my parents go vote, but there was always one name on the ballot. So this is a privilege that people really need to understand uh, to take advantage of and make sure that they are voting for their value, not for people, not for leaders, because in the end, uh, presidents comes and go, but we are the people, we are the permanent. Basma, as always, pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for that insight. Thank you so much. Thank you.